Considered by many to be the greatest athlete ever to play at Utah State University, and considered by some to be one of the best collegiate basketball players ever to play the game, Wayne Estes and his small town anaconda charm and dead eye from anywhere on the court has left memories in the hearts of Aggie fans that will never be forgotten. Really well liked by everybody in Logan. He was really well liked by everybody on the campus. He was a kind of guy you'd like your uh, star athlete to be. Well liked by everybody on the, the team and then of course a, a, great, a great basketball player. I mean. Inducted into Utah State's first Hall of Fame class in 1993, the word great might be an understatement regarding Estes. A two-time All-American in 1964 and 65, averaging just under 34 points a game, scoring in double digits for an astonishing 64 straight games. And he remains the outright shareholder to many school records, including most points in a game at 52 and most rebounds in a game at 28. One thing you can say for sure, he was a great shooter. <laughs> Wayne could shoot every shot. He shot 15 foot, foot hook shots better than most guys shoot 15 foot jump shots today. And that's what made him so hard to defend even though he didn't have the greatest athletic abilities as far as jumping ability and quickness. You couldn't defend him because of his shooting ability. And he could take you inside, take you outside, no matter what you did. So, In my opinion, he was the greatest all around shooter I've ever seen in basketball. On February 8, 1965, with thoughts of the NBA undoubtedly in the back of his mind, Estes, along with fellow senior roommate Del Lyons, geared up for what would be their last showdown in the field house. Estes would need 47 points in his final showing to surpass a 2,000 point total for his career. Estes had a strong first half, but had some medical concerns as he entered the halftime locker room. Wayne says this, and I can't remember now whether it was both hands or one hand, but, but he said he's got some numbness in his hand that is really bothering him. And I said, well, geez, he made 20 points the first half. <laughs> and I checked him over carefully for all the things that, I, that you could think could possibly be. And I, I couldn't find anything. And I said, well, just go out and do it again this half, Wayne. Wayne did exactly that and more, ending the game with 48 points, marking the end of a legendary collegiate career with 2,001 points. But fate was to play a cruel trick. Later on that night, Estes and some friends stopped at the scene of a car wreck. A dangling power line from the wreckage struck the six foot six Estes on the forehead, electrocuting him. A community and likewise an entire state mourned for the loss of one they had called their own. But as the legendary song The Scotsman so perfectly shouts, Wayne Estes, you will always be our true blooded Aggie from Utah. With XXL Sports, I'm Ted Stokes.